Surviving Normandy was a cakewalk compared to what followed. Everywhere he went during the war, he saw mangled bodies and the air reeked with the stench of rot. At first, he thought some of them had survived being butchered, but then realized he could see their ghosts. They watched him, seemingly following his every move. Victims of the war haunted his entire tour until it was over and he could finally be free from them. On the train home, he wrote to his family. It was difficult to keep the horrors of war out of his letter and focus only on getting far away from them. He tried to remember what home was like, but every loud noise triggered his memories and brought him suffering. When he finished his letter, he smiled and looked out the window and watched beautiful landscapes pass by in a blur. That smile quickly faded when he looked around the train and realized that the ghosts he had been seeing weren't victims of war. They were the ghosts of the passengers around him who hadn't yet died. The loud noises were malfunctions that led to the train derailing and killing everybody on board.